Greetings fellow humans. My name is Flailbot. This is Kate Blazer's episode million and a half. And I am going to play some caves. There was an update recently which uh, released new uh, shadowy invaders and some new items and stuff and local co-op. That's actually the exciting part. Um, I have a friend who plays who plays Cave Blazers, and he lives in the same country as I do. So I'm pretty sure I'm gonna go to his cool house. So, ow, ow, and uh, we're gonna play some caves at some point together, which I'm excited about because uh, local co-op is something that you know we really don't get a chance to do a lot of these days. And by we, I mean adult humans. So, um, it seems like a fun opportunity to do something uh, <laughs> you know, although I'm worried I'm gonna be the 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 weak link here. It'd be nice to do something that's a little more sociable. There's a new shadow item called the Shadow Wand, which is the same as the Ruby Wand, uh, which is the teleportation wand. Um, except it goes through walls. So you teleport forward, and if there's walls in the way, well, that's just its not a concern. It's not the kind of, you know, low-level, pathetic concern that you, as a heroic... Oh, that was an unexpected extra jump there. Uh, adventure man really has to worry about. This will kill me, which is unfortunate, because I do want extra blessings. Maybe, if that's the case, I shouldn't um, be so bad. What do you think, team? So these are the shadow guys, and um, they're... Oh, no, 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 no! Now I will literally never get that. Um, they grow gradually more powerful as as the levels go onward. And I don't quite remember why I turned them on. I think it was because I was playing a run through with uh, the cleric ball. And so fighting more guys is can be beneficial if they're like predictable enemy types. Um, this run is a failure, so I'm not really going to be doing much Oop. more here. I'm probably going to go through that cave of wonder over there in just a second. We'll see. I really like the Master Sword Blessing, or the perk version of it, um, because it makes it way easier to trigger melee based, well, blessings and benefits and so on and so forth, so it comes in really handy later if you happen to pick up the Life Dream Blessing and you need to heal, you just hit things with your magic Wuxi Zelda Sword and you're good to go. Uh, these days I've been doing this first challenge because it's relatively straightforward, assuming you don't miss absolutely every attack. Ha! I got one in. It's good. Um, and the blessing you get is pretty useful. So especially, um, there's two parts. You get melee increased attack speed by 10%. Melee attack speed increased by 10%. If you want to speak it in normal grammar. And you also get um, uh, your heavy attack stun. So that is really useful for fighting larger type enemies. Because you just do the three hits and they'll fall. Or you do the three hits and they'll... Yeah, whatever, they're just stunned. It's just incredibly useful. It also makes fast weapons more valuable, which is nice because they tend to be pretty common, and they tend to already be good, so fast weapons just get an extra boost because you're getting that stun in more often than a slow weapon. Um, really? Um, slow weapons like the pull arm. I find that I want to like them, but the level of damage they offer for the 
for how ridiculously slow they are is is not worth it. Like the pole arm makes you move slower, has a very large reach, but um, it doesn't. Man, I'm just not on the ball today. Not even a little bit. This is this is absolutely terrible. Um, it has more reach, which is great, but a lot of times you're fighting in really close quarters, and that type of increased reach is not that helpful, but slowness means that the stagger effects will... they just don't happen fast enough. Slowness, slow attack speed, can mean that you just aren't getting staggers in. And if you're not getting staggers in, then you're gonna get slaughtered later. Especially like just in that previous um, <clears throat> previous round, there are some enemies that are really hard to stagger. The hobgoblins, not those guys that I just killed, but the um, the bigger, meaner versions of them. They attack very quickly, and getting a stun off on them is well of great benefit. Uh, um. And with a slow weapon and the, the, the blessing of the champion, you, you can't do that because it's just too slow. Ha ha! Jerk. I am the winner now. I kind of hate the divine um, bow, mostly because... It's interesting how much you come to rely on, on little, um, little factoids. Hold on a second. Okay, I don't like the divine bow because it hurts you. If it didn't hurt me, I would not mind it having this ridiculous recharge. But at least as of the previous patch, it hurt me. I'm gonna try. Yeah, cool. So not only does that, it hurts me, it suspends me in the air, because that's its effect. Uh, and that's that's like a death sentence if you're trying to fight guys and you accidentally hit someone who's too close or something. So uh, the Divine Bow is super risky, and I do not find its benefit that potent because most enemies are not the types of enemies that are going to be killing you so so viciously so quickly that you need to stun them and then hit them a couple times and then run away that those are very few and far between and of course it, it fires really slowly um now i was saying something else which i'm not quite remembering <laughs> Die. Ow. Oh. That was pretty pathetic. Um, divine Bow. Oh, the habits. So, this particular perk reduces your melee damage by one, which is enough to mean that two hits does not kill one of the goblins in the beginning. So, you may have caught this if you were paying very close attention but I attacked a goblin I hit him twice and then I just wandered off and the reason I did so is because I anticipated that he would be dead because I have killed in my life so many goblins that I know it takes two hits the only time it doesn't take two hits is if you um you know one of them's a heavy attack or the only time it would take two hits with uh, this particular weapon is if one of them was a heavy attack. So, um, getting used to that, overcoming those tiny little habits, wow, that was close, can be difficult. Like I said, new shadow weapons, uh, which come with the, the new rune. Oh, no, wait, there are new items, shadow weapons are not new. Um, some of them are cool. Some of them are samey. There's a shadow orb, which is super snazzy. Ouchie chow. Phew! Stun! Um, the shadow orb... None of these are good. Um, shadow orb heals you every time you kill someone or something? Or every time it charges, it heals you. Every time it charges, it life steals someone who's, who's around. Uh, which is which is just snazzy. 
so that means um, it's kind of like the cleric's orb, which I assume is it's sort of the item it's based on, but it um, well it works a bit differently. Wah, 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 guy. Yeah, so if you're competent, fighting more enemies can be useful, especially these basic enemies, which is why the shadow... Um, I'm obviously not competent, as it turns out. Um, adding the shadow enemies can be fun, because they can be additional additional damage, additional losing, because you suck, as <laughs> it turns out. Oh, I don't know what's going on these days. Maybe they're just tired. Maybe it's that talking while playing a high-intensity, fast game is not great. Maybe I should stick to Drax, <laughs> the trade set game. Um, yeah, I've beaten the game a couple of times. I haven't beat it with five runes, uh, which is obviously significantly more difficult. Oops, I wanted to hookshot that guy, but hey, what are you going to do? Um... Mostly I get caught up on these early levels, and then I just lose inspiration. Um, because I'm not, like, I'm not invested enough, or I'm not paying enough attention for it to be... It's so early, you know, it's hard to be like, oh, this is a critical, critical part of the game. Um, and then I end up messing up and killing myself just because I'm not, like, as invested as I should be. Those are useful potions. Um, I wish I had the health for that thing, obviously, but I don't. So we're just going to continue on. Brawler Blessing is great. More damage, right? Yeah. So plus four range damage just got picked up, and plus three melee damage, and the Brawler Blessing, which is cool. Which will significantly increase the likelihood that this run will be remotely successful. Obviously, with the Master Sword blessing type thing, um, melee damage is king, and that's nice to see that we finally got it. If you get it early, uh, yeah. Whoops. Oh Jesus. <laughs> so interesting tip, fun tip for all you hardcore fans out there. On uh, this particular, um, can I get a mouse? Cool. On, on this particular battle with these enemy units, you can just stand on this platform once they gather down here, and they'll just walk over and hang out underneath the platform, and you shoot them to death at zero danger to yourself. Jumping around on that particular level, or on that particular wave, uh, is is the way more dangerous way to approach that... Ugh, oh, come on! Um, way more dangerous way to approach that particular set of enemies. I'm gonna take a little slower. I would like to get past like level one here, just so you guys can be entertained. Now, I don't think that getting the Master Sword Blessing, which I am about to get, um, will actually make me shoot double beams or whatever. It would be cool, but I don't think it will. Let's find out. Nice. Minus 10% of damage resistance is, of course, bad. Plus 5 magic damage is pretty fancy. Melee speed and range speed are great. Um, but I don't have any other shadow items, so the big benefit, plus 20%, just everything to all the other shadow items is not, not relevant. Um, so we're going to wait. I have a potion. Haha. I have more than 8% health. I do not know if I'm fighting shooting doubles or not. More health, more jumping. Let's go with more jumping. I have the ruby um, uh, wand, but sometimes you get something better than a ruby wand, and you don't want to have to sacrifice mobility. Uh, plus 6 damage in melee for minus 5 range damage. Okay, we're going to do it and 
minus two what melee knockback. So this means, oh no, this is good because we can just use our fancy beams of light to kill people. I mean, defeat enemy monsters. Although, <laughs> defeating that little bouncy exploding guy is going to be a bit of a bit of a nuisance. Um, checking for runes because I'm going melee build, so I really do want blessing of. Champions or whatever it's called. Upward attacks uh, do not spawn the little um, light beams, which is disappointing to a degree. Of course, neither do oh, neither do downward stabs or a multitude of other attacks. I think that my little magic attacks have enough range to kill uh, an exploding guy without being hit by him, but that requires relatively precise positioning. Oh no. There we go. Oh, that was the last one. Which means we're probably near the very bottom here. Yeah. Early on, always worth it to keep going. Course. Lots of things to grab, loots to be had. Ignore. Uh, where'd the door go? Where did the door go? Whoa. Door? Oh, uh, wait. Wait a second. Sometimes, I've seen this happen once before, Ugh. the door actually spawned at the previous icon. Or just never spawned. Ah. Let's just go through. Skip those guys. Uh, because there, the, the distance between the door and where the like target area was was too far. I don't know what the... Um, The limitation is there. It doesn't really matter. I've also gotten a minus five magic damage from the Reaver Blade, which isn't great. Uh, because I do have the ruby wand, but that's not really the purpose of the ruby wand, so that's okay. You guys want to come all down here? Cool. So right, right here, um, these guys are just... Just shoot them to death. They cannot do anything. Wow, he slid so far. Yeah, well, it happens. Okay. Just trying to take out the more annoying enemies here, or just anyone who's alone. Yep. Yay! Yay! Skulls? Flying skills? No. This, yeah. The free health in case you happen to have a health eating sword. <laughs> Wave. And now the skulls. Yeah. One of the nice things about, um. Ouch. Um. The, the Blade of Fancy Pants is that you also hit all enemies which is particularly helpful when it comes to like a skull guys if they have a bunch of surrounding um, allies you can just 
they have the little shiny skull things, and you just don't worry about it. You just shoot them, and it hits all of them. Oh dear, I should have seen that coming. <laughs> that was neato. That went pretty fast. Okay, good. Um, two hearts means 40 health, so unless we lost more than 40 health, it was a victory. I think we did, but I think it's still a victory. Um, the blessing is very potent, like I said. Um, especially here with we have a weapon without so much knockback, at least for now. Which means getting that third hit on enemies isn't going to be so difficult. We already have the icon, so who cares the relic. Oh man. Oh, racked with shame. How did, how did that not hit? Oh, I forgot I did a sentence of blessing. I also forgot. Because this doesn't do any damage, I keep forgetting I have the. Um, jumpy, jumpy wand of. Jump, jump, miss. Ruby wand. I'm gonna go over here and ignore these guys for now. I'm actually gonna throw an arcane box at them and see what happens. Yeah, they're all on fire. Victory is mine. Come on, guy. Learn to jump better. We're definitely gonna apply the reflex lance. Although we do have lowered um, range damage, that's not permanent, and being able to hit is better than not being able to hit, so. Nice. Why is this doing so much damage? Crazy. If I take this, am I gonna do like 20 damage a shot? 16 is pretty dang good. That's healing, I don't need it. I have my. Apples. Ow. You fiend. Meat and poison bombs. Mmm, that was a tasty crate. Haha. <laughs> Sometimes, I find that if I have a choice, occasionally the Spike Blessing is is actually quite good. Um, none of these are good. Magic Bomb is awful. Blowback is like you're nearly dead and knocks all enemies away. Not great. Blessing of Bleeding, fit, what is it? A small chance, it doesn't specify, but it's a relatively small chance to cause bleeding. Um, which does piddly damage which does not trigger things that require you to make a kill with melee which is sort of like the not the only thing that matters but a lot of what is necessary to be victorious in this game in my opinion is melee health stealing I'm not certain I finished a run without some sort of health steal. Like the level of damage you take is just well, it exists. You are going to take damage. You must survive it. And the easiest way to do that is by healing from that damage. I'm curious. I do not have two skull sticks. I don't have anything to upgrade, do I? No. Right? Darn. I've heard good things about the Crystal Skull. Um, so I think I'm going to try to use it because 
I'm going to be a little bit more ranged here, since I got those huge bonuses to range damage and this nice ranged weapon. I'm going to be more imperiled by ranged attacks. Oh gosh. Well, I'm just glad I have the cube thing early on in the game. Because the cube is a jerk. No one likes the cube. Go away, cube. Nice. I wasn't sure if that would work that way. Ow. No one loves you, cube. I hope the little shield thing starts to blink or something when it's about to disappear. It does. Okay. Never used it before. Like I said. Nah. Nah. Candy. Then you're on a slow. <laughs> it's a fun. It's a fun weapon, but now oh, maybe we'll give it a spin. Any match got increased range speed by thirty percent. So if I throw down the shield, then I'm gonna be gonna severely injure myself by overestimating by manifold. Wow, this is terrible. Go away. Oh, that was awesome. Oops. Ow. Ow. Okay, guys, I'm gonna call it here. Um, I hope you enjoyed my disastrous runs. Um, yeah, Cave Player just seems to be a game that's all about paying attention. I'm not sure if I'm good at that. I've been Flailbot, this has been Cave Blazers. I hope you all guys, use guises, have a super amazing evening. Thanks for watching. Bye.